Hello, welcome to the Generational Gamer, J Prime here, and today we're going to play Metal Gear, and I'm sorry, Metal Storm, on the Retro USB AVS, which, I don't know if you can see it right there, but it's, it's there. Now, if RetroBit's actually online, I'd like to use this, if there's a way. I have a Bluetooth dongle for 8-Bit Do. Um, I tried every button just to see what would happen. So far, no go. So I'll just use a regular NES controller. So let's give this one a try. And I'll be happy to test it midway through. All right. And we're ready. So A, and there we go. Oh, according to this, it says I'm live. Turn off some audio here. This has good music. This is great. I love the music right here. Alright, let's give the game a... Let me turn down the sound a little bit now because now it's too loud, if you can believe that. First of all, can you hear me okay? I just want to make sure. So I'll go into the game. Alright, we're going to change the controls, okay? Yep, I gotta change the way I like them. So up goes up and down goes down. I would absolutely love to play. Oh, dang, I already died. <laughs> hey, Retro Bit. So I got a quick question for you. I wonder if you can tell me. With. This right here is an 8-bit do dongle. I mean, it's standard Bluetooth. Is there a way to plug this Genesis controller? This you sent me, and I've already reviewed it, and I really like it, but I'd like to try it with as many ridiculous things as possible. Any ideas? Let's see. Hopefully I can get past the first level. How depressing is that? By the way, I really like the way this the way things are going here. Hey, level two. Oh, died again. You know, I have actually gotten to like the third or fourth level in this game. It's hard though. Very hard. Let me actually move the mic a little closer to me and further away from the game. Not sure about that. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm just I'm just curious because I want to try it with anything possible. So I think I'm gonna try it says that it's compatible with the PS3, which means I'm gonna, I have to try it with the PS4 just to be weird. Yes. It is uh it is a Bluetooth receiver. It's just a 8-bit do one. 
And uh, I'm going to actually try the 8-bit do controllers with the retro bit ones just to see if it works. Yeah, this game is wicked hard. But you know what I'd really like? If I don't know if this would even be possible, but I'd like to be able to buy the ROM. Uh, are you familiar with Bitmap Bureau and their game? I forgot what it's called. It's, uh... What is it called? It's, uh... Anybody know what it is offhand? Anyway, it's available on the Switch. It's kind of like Smash TV. And I would love to be able to just buy the ROM of the game, so I'm not always bound to carrying around the cartridge. Is that even a consideration? It's a little out there, I know. Ooh. Level 1, are you using the um, Nintendo or are you using the USB uh, tribute? Take that. Oh, dying. All right, first boss. Warning, warning. Boom. Oh, okay. Cool. You using it with the mister? Actually, that doesn't have an N64 core, does it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, I don't know if I can pronounce your name, eh? M My e. C. Myers Vids. Um, Retrobit said that early, that they do something weird. And it makes sense, I mean, everything's proprietary, but sometimes, well, not everything. I mean, some things are proprietary. Alright, let's see, can I make it? No, uh, let's see. No, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna gun it. Yes, it is. Level one, you've done, or level two, you've done the, um, you've done the Raspberry Pi 4, right? There we go, we're cooking. Made it. Alright, this is where I died the last time I played this game. I've never gotten that one up, by the way. There we go. Huh. Wonder if I can get that one up. Nope. Guess not. Yeah, I've watched I've watched some of them. I've saw the Mister recently. Oh dang it. I screwed that one up. Oh <laughs> Yeah, I watched you play most of Ninja Gaiden. Gaiden, however it's pronounced, on the Mister. You beat it, didn't you? That game, the last time I ever played it was, um, I got to the final boss, died, and I haven't played it since. In, in really any kind of entirety. There we go. Ooh. Hey, what's the A do? Does anybody know offhand? There we go.
Easy game. <laughs> Show off. So, alright, can you beat this one? Oh crap, I didn't even see that. I was too busy talking. Oop, let's get out of here. Alright, next section. A is armor. Oh, okay. Lots of handy pieces of information. So I never played this one when it was new. And I'm kind of sorry I didn't, but then I probably wouldn't have purchased this version, so I guess it all works out, huh? Ah! This game's really hard. It really is. And by the time you start getting into the later levels, things are so hectic, it's really hard to play. But you can keep going and all the Japanese passwords work. And if you like, you can change the you can change the jumping direction. Uh, select and start start and it'll switch from going up with down and down with up. It'll switch it to normal, which is what the I think the American version was. All right, so this one is kind of migraine inducing, but it's fun, so who cares, right? Right. Oh, shoot. Let's kill that thing, kill that thing. Ooh. Oh, I get to change my gun. I don't like this gun. Oh, S is shield. A is armor. I need that, again. Ooh. That cage level is wicked difficult. I've gotten to it, I've beaten it, and I've never been able to do it again. But it's fun. But it's a hard game. It's an NES game, so it's supposed to be wicked hard. But had you not released it, most people would never even be able to play this game. I guess you gotta choose which one you want, huh? Eh, oh well. Oh, dang. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright, which one do I want? The power or the armor? I think we'll go with the armor. So I need all the help I can get here. Alright. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. Yeah, I saw a really good interview with Retrobit the other day. Um, arcades... Crap. Arcades, uh... It's Iceman on, on Twitter. I can't remember his the name of his uh, channel offhand. That's what not a lot of... Crap. That's what not a lot of sleep will do to me. Let me actually open this up so I can read this one. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I did not mean to do that. No! Yes. Yes, it is. Alright, I can't really tell how I prefer playing. Would I prefer playing the normal way, the default way, or the, uh, the way where up is up and down is down? 
Since I never really played the original, it's kind of difficult to decide which one's better. Alright, so what do I want to do? There we go. There we go. Gotcha. Alright, what's B? I'm gonna get it anyway, but I'm just curious what it is. Is that bomb? Alright, another boss. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, crud. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. Game over, too. I don't know. Should I try it again? I think I'm going to try it again. Bonus points. You know, I really should have read the really nice manual, shouldn't I? <laughs> Is the sound okay? This game is really, really cool. I am so sorry I missed out on this on the NES days. Ah, crud. I wasted my perfectly good extra life. And I died. Died, died, died. Alright, let's try it again. Which level's the cage level? I don't remember. I think it's like the next one or the one after. My cam and audio are desynced. I don't like the sound of that. Well, for right now, I'm just going to get rid of me then. There we go. I'll make the game a little bit bigger. All right, everything good now? You can't see me smile. Stage four, so it's the next one. Okay. Oh, crud. <laughs> Not good. Thank you. Is there a way to get up there from here? And not die? <laughs> Crud. I would love an official, and I know this isn't going to happen, because Nintendo doesn't, and Nintendo's doing their own thing still, but I would love an official NES controller, just like the Sega World. Bring me back to my youth in full. Come on, go up there. When's the um, N64 wireless controller coming out? Is it known yet? That is a crazy background effect. And this is an NES game. And I mean, it was late in the series, it late in the cycle of the game system, but this is an NES game, and it looks phenomenal. I mean, this looks like some early Genesis stuff, almost. Alright, now I can't do a full jump. There we go. And there. There we go. And this is best suited to just go here. Oh, crud. I did not mean to do that. Alright, let me go get my bonus. There we go. Is there any way you can make the shoulder buttons mappable? 
That's been my big issue with uh, all aftermarket crud, all aftermarket N64 controllers. It drives me crazy because of the um, the third hand design. I've always despised having uh, two different shoulder buttons doing the same diff same thing, you know. Oh crud! I died. Yeah, this level one. This game. This game is very impressive. It's hard too. All right, I gotta get out of dodge there. Oh no! Level one. You should check out this game. Um, the it's based on the Japanese version of it. Which I don't know if that came out first or second. Uh, maybe somebody in here knows. But, um, the... I'm gonna actually get this this time. Oh, maybe not. Um, but the Japanese version was a little harder than the American version. But for whatever reason, the Japanese... Ah! The Japanese version also had a, uh... Has the white ship like this, where the American version has... It's all orange. And it looks really weird. Ah, uh, not so good. Losing my train of thought while I play. Alright, we're going up here now, so I have a real gun. Aww. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we can do that. And I just noticed something else. If you... If you get the new gun once, you apparently get to keep it. So now I've got the gun and armor. So a retro bit is the culture very ret I mean, obviously the culture has to be retro friendly, but I mean everybody has everybody played these games or or are they new to people who work there? Oh, no. That wasn't good. Believe it or not, I, and I say this in pretty much every stream, when I was younger, I was actually good at video games. Alright, I'm moving. Oh no! Yeah, uh, at Retrobit, is the, is the environment where people grew up with these games? Or uh, are these games new for, new for the people who work there? Ah, not cool. Oh, I'm getting my extra life this time. All right, I make the jump. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can do this without killing myself. Oh no, I did it! I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Yeah, I was all on television and then and then Nintendo and then Sega 
And then I went back to Nintendo. Did it. Yay! I did it! <laughs> This game really is cool. I, I like this one a lot. I haven't found Holy Diver yet. I was looking at that one. Because that one was never been released in the U.S. Oh, here's the cage level. Yes, this one's hard. Alright, but I got a solid weapon here. Uh-oh. Let's keep... Yay, I got an extra weapon, uh, extra life. Oh, I did not see that. I completely forgot about that. Ooh. Oh, I'll give this a lot of... Thank you. I'm trying. Oh, dead. Dead, dead, dead. This level's tough. Very tough. Alright. What's the G for? I really need to read the manual. Oh, fine. I got the good gun. Oh, man, man, that's not good. But I'm still alive. And now I'm dead. Oh, it works offensively? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. I did it wrong. Let's try that again. Alright, this might be a stupid question. How do you do the gravity fireball? Oh, you hit it with that. I did not do so well. Let's try that again. If I remember correctly, this this level has like a boss rush type of thing in it at the end. There we go. Looks like the audio is desyncing from the gameplay now. Alright, hold that thought for one second. I have an HD 60S, and I've never been really particularly happy with it with uh, Streamlabs OBS or OBS. Is it back in action? Oh, dang. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh, it starts me here. Dope. Don't 
So, I'm Homer Simpsoning myself a little bit too much. I'm going to try again, though. So, alright, try it again. One player left. How long did it take the game testers to get used to this game? In this section? Go. Because these old games are so much harder than the new ones. All right, let's try it again. Gotcha. that armor. Got my gun. Ha! I believe that. This isn't like no this isn't like games today. These games are a lot harder. Alright, we're moving now. Whoa, I did it! Yeah, this section was hard, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I did this once. So. Twice. Oh, there's more! <laughs> Alright. S is shield. A is armor. So, well, it's a good thing I just got that armor. I'm guessing this is a boss? No! At least I still got that gun. Got my shield. Got my armor. I just lost my good gun, though. So... Alright, let's see if I can do this. I only got one hit. Ooh, now we're at the boss. No? Maybe not. What? I, what? <laughs> Alright, ready. We'll see. Hey, what's C? Is that continue? No! <laughs> Not my... Nah. Final boss has two cannons. Okay. No. This is stage boss. <laughs> Alright, should I give it a try again? Alright, grab that, grab, dough. What's the C? 
Oh, Crusher. I don't know what Crusher means. Oh, it clears the screen of enemies. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna read the manual. I mean it. I got my armor. My armor. Point. Guard. Crusher. Power. I don't know what power does, but... Got him. Got him. Alright, now we're moving. Got him. Oh! No! Got him. Alright, so now they're going to appear in the center. Okay. Alright, shield. I just lost my armor. Alright, let's try again. Get out of the way for this one that's going to appear here. Alright. Alright, now I guess I could go over on the side. Crud. So, I guess I want to get on the left side, is that right? All these old NES games, they had the, they had the uh, patterns to learn. Brad. Got him. Got him. Go up. Ooh, crud. Oh. Oh, they still surround you? Okay. No. I can't lose my my armor on the weak enemies. That's not fun. Or that one either. All right, I'll try it again. So anybody who's new to the channel, how about subscribing? <laughs> I just started doing more live streams. I'm gonna do more going forward. I like doing them. There we go, got him. Alright, so I'm gonna go all the way over here and see what happens. Okay, that does not work. I'm gonna see if I can do it again, but this time I'm gonna kill the one on the left first and then immediately take his place. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. Ooh, I gotta update the art on this on this stream. I changed my logo. Crud. Oh. No! <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna get you. I'm, oh, I'm gonna get out of the way. There we go. 
I hit the crusher finally. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, don't want to do that. Let me get out of his way. Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I didn't. Do, I didn't completely lose everything yet. Whoops. All right, I'm in the center. We're gonna kill this one first. <laughs> oh. All right, so kill the one on the left first, and then kill the one on the right. But get out of the way so you don't die. Most speedruns take around 20 minutes. Yeah, they are. This game is wicked difficult. It's a lot of fun, though. It really is. So, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of curious about this. Um, when I originally said I was going to buy this game, I heard a bunch of people say to me, Well, you're going to damage your console. But I don't think these board. I mean, I looked at the board. The board looks perfectly reasonable and perfectly safe. Oh, cool. I did it. Is there anything more? I'm almost there. I did not see that. Oh. All right. All right. Where does this start me? Back at the beginning. All right. I can work with that. You can use a fireball and move along the bottom and constantly they won't hurt you. Alright, that'll be good for the next one. The next try. You know, I was about to say, look, I've gotten past this part without dying. Or getting hit. And then I got hit. I got the G power up. Is that this? Alright, let's try this again. I can't even see see the things. Whew. Yeah, I remember this one. I, I did this one once. Crud. When you got hit, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, I don't think I ever got it. I probably missed it. Thank you. All right, back in back where I was. Isn't it amazing how these old games they were so short, but they took forever to beat because they're so hard. Oh, I didn't even see that. I still did not see that. 
My eyesight's not that good, as you can see with the glasses. Alright, let's do this again. Ooh. Oh, crap, I didn't even see that. Hey, man, how you doing? Welcome. I am trying to get past this level. And we'll see if I can actually do it now. By the way, I do have Sprite Flicker disabled, or reduced Sprite Flicker enabled on this, and it still does it. This game was so ahead of its time when it was new. Crap, I died. Crud! Gotcha. I'm gonna beat those little crabs. Yes, I am. Gotcha. Alright, let's try this again. Whew. Get the guy on the side here. Try this again. Try this again. Alright. Oh, I didn't even see it. I did not even see it. Game over. Should I try again? going on Pete welcome open every box I got this all right I'll try it again so if you haven't if you haven't already seen we've got the publisher of the game on here right now retro bit and I appreciate you stopping by I'm trying to kick butt, but I'm not. Maybe. We'll see. Pete, you might want to open every box from uh, from this game on Retrobit. It doesn't really matter which publish or which uh, company you choose. I I don't really know what the difference is. Is it just the color of the cartridge? But uh, this game you'll like, especially on your spanking new uh, retro USB. Oh, crap. I didn't even see that. Alright. Aww. Oh, I got the guard crush finally. Not a moment too soon. I, I still don't know how to use it. But it's neat that I have it. All right, I got this, I got this, I got this. Come on now. I gotta learn how to do art, like open every box. I love his uh, intro with all the 3D models. All right, I know it's coming from the left now. Let's see if I can kill it before it moves towards me. Oh no, it comes from the right. Whoops. Ah. Aww. Aww. Um, I got mine from Castlemania, but only works once. Oh, okay. 
Well, that explains it. I got mine from Castlemania. So, uh, does Castlemania ship to Canada? I'm dying already. Aww. Alright, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> again, 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 again. Oh. Oh, that was a waste of armor. A number of different companies had special versions of this game. Um, oh, well, your friend is really good at this. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought they shipped worldwide. Alright, Retrobit. What's your favorite rendition of this game? Original, and then the special re new releases that came out. What's the what's the favorite in the office? I just died again. Do. All right, I'll try it again. Oh. Alright, I'm getting that. Yeah, I got that one. This is so typical of an NES game. Once you get past the part and you get really good at it, it's like, this is easy! It was. I don't like the color palette they chose for the game, though. I really don't. I'm really glad that the Retrobit version is, um, uses the Japanese color palette for the character. Was that what you were talking about? It is a difficult game. Whew! Alright, let's try this again. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm not saying it's unfair. I love it. What what was added to the game that you can't see on the original? And I I, I guess the NES version because the well, I guess the NES version didn't have the story in there or the cutscenes or anything. I'm kind of curious to see a side-by-side. -side. But the original is so expensive. Oh, okay. Original... Japanese just translated. Okay. I was actually tempted to buy the Japanese Famicom game. And then I saw this, and I didn't. I went to Castlevania. I love having an intro in these games. Oh crap, I should have gotten that. Oh. Got. Oh no. Alright, I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Oh no. Well, I can't read this. The color palette are different. Difficulty is different. The you're set. I know the original NES game. Also, the endings are different. Okay, I haven't gotten that far. But I know the NES version has a uh, has like an orange hue over it. And then this is what the Japanese color palette is. It's almost like the orange that's in this model is in is. It's almost like the palettes are flipped for the character on the NES version. And the NES version, if I remember correctly, did not have a story mode. You just played it. Gotta get that. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get the G. 
And then my next life. Obviously. Whew, tough. Yep, you definitely need that. Let's try this again. Aww. Aww. Alright, got that, got that. Got the G. Whew. And I already hit my first, lost my first hit. Go. I'm trying. This game's tough. Old NES tough. Alright. Not that part. Take that. Alright, I'm gonna sit here, and I'm gonna shoot- actually, it comes this- from this side. Oh, No! Game over. I thought it came out before the Japanese version. So the Japanese version, they're actually able to refine. This game's still a pricey game when you buy it on the secondary market. I'm really glad I was able to get it uh, re-released. Ah. No. Maybe I should use an original NES controller. <laughs> No, maybe not. I've never actually tried this on an original NES. I've always used it on the retro USB. Go. I'm trying, man. This game's hard. Whew. Once you get the G, you can just go up and down, and those little dudes can't touch you in mid-gravity. Oh, okay, cool. So, like this... Or maybe not. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm not doing so good, though. Don't want to waste my power up. Ooh, so far so good. Got two full hits left on me. Ha. Huh. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> the G gives you gravity fireball, which is the attack lets you Oh, okay. Yeah, you said something earlier about that, and I just, uh, didn't get it. I don't think I have it anymore. Crap. Whew, I think I, I think I made it. Alright, let's try this again. Oh. 
<laughs> no! Alright, hopefully one more life. Maybe? Maybe? Yes! One more life. No. <laughs> Game over. Alright, should I try it again? Or call it a day? Well, as luck would have it, Retrobit re-released this game la when was it? It was not that long ago actually. So you you can still get it, and it's about what was it, like fifty dollars at Castlemania? Alright, I'm not doing very well right now. Go. Honestly, I don't even think I'd want to play the... Oh, I missed the G! I don't even think I'd want to play the NES game. I can't stand looking at it. So... Yeah, late last year. I got it the day it came out. Whenever Castlemania shipped it. I did send him a message. I said, any way I can get mine as soon as it comes out. Because I just wanted to be able to... Well, one, I wanted to talk about it. And two, I really wanted to play the game. Whew. All right. You know what? I'll take a quick look and tell you if Castlemania's got them. Castlemania. Uh, what is uh metals? I can never spell it right. Is it two words or one word? No, it does not look like they have it anymore. Though, the only thing, actually, everything's coming soon except for the Sega Genesis controllers and some of the tributes. Yeah, Holy Divers coming soon and the Super Retrocade. I, 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 was, I was considering one of them. Actually, is there going to be an update to, um,. The, what is it called? Super Retro Trio. That would be kind of cool to see an update to that. Alright, one more time. Let's try it. Ah, Not the best work I've done. So, alright. Let's kill that thing. I was... Oh no! Keep going? Alright, I'll try. Alright, let's try it again. Rich says keep going, let's keep going. Aw, oh, not cool. Got my G, got my C, got my P. Alright, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm gonna get that. Got that. And we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, got that. Get right in the middle and kill this thing. I'm trying, dude, I'm trying. Got it. Woo! Alright, something's. Oh, it's coming in on that side now. I think that's it. Now I'm at the boss. Warning, warning. Oh, I got rid of one. 
Ha, ah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Now that's some encouragement. Thank you. <laughs> I, just, I think my webcam is still out of sync, so I apologize to, to, about that. I got it. This is as far as I've ever been in the game. Short of using passwords to get a little further. Alright. Wow, that background is cool. I did not see that. There you go, yep. How many levels are in this game? Whew. Oh, did not see that. He's doing it, he's doing it. I'm trying. Ooh. Gotcha. Oh, you can kill the turrets. I'm trying, dude. I am trying. Yeah, continue, continue. There's seven stages, so two left. I have to move out of the way better. Sup? Welcome. For anybody new to the channel, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button. Alright. Oh, I did not see that. <laughs> oh, players left zero. Alright, what do I do? Do I play another do I play it again after after I should I die again? This is just a regular NES controller with the 8-bit do mod. I'd like to use this if I could figure out a way. Because it's retro bit and retro bits on the on the line. But so far, no go. I tried every single button with it, and it didn't want to connect. But that makes sense. I mean, it's probably a different something. I don't know. It never said it was going to, so I don't expect it to. There we go. Got that. Get out of the way. All right. Get out of the way. Oh, I didn't see that big-ass thing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Game over. Do I continue or do I say enough is enough? Given that my kids are now demanding more time with their iPads. The nerve of them. So, my kids right now are playing online with one of their friends through Animal Crossing and communicating via Messenger. This way they can all play together while they're not allowed to see each other. And I kid you not, they were playing tag the other day in Animal Crossing together. I mean, it's pretty pretty smart for them to do that. Oh, I didn't see that. No! Oh. Alright, I'll try it again. 5-1. This is my crowning achievement. Oh, maybe not. Crowning achievement with this game so far. Retro bit said it can go it can speedrunners can do it in 20 minutes. Well, I am not a speedrunner. I wouldn't even say I'm all that confident with games anymore. Aw. I'll try. I'll try. One more. One more. One more. Alright. Fishing net tag is fun. <laughs> yeah. They seem to like it. They're upstairs playing it now.
Has there been any thought to maybe publishing on uh, the Switch? I know it's probably not your, probably not Retrobit's call, but it'll be really nice. Xenochrist, that's the name of the game I was thinking of earlier. Oh! Keep it going. Alright, I'll try. We'll see. We'll see if I can do it. I could really use... Oh! I could really use that good weapon right about now. Got it. Oh. <laughs> I'd totally buy this game again on the Switch if it were digital. I have the controllers for it. Yeah, my kids are pretty smart. And they're also incredibly bored. All this home stuff. Oh. <laughs> so their friend is uh, the daughter of a, of a guy I've known since we were five years old. So it's been a while. Um, but she's a bit older than my kids. She's, she's older. She's a lot older than my daughter. But she's my daughter's like a little sister to her. But she's a year older than my son. So they play in different ways. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Can I do this? Can I do this? All right. So you can be right up on the edge here. There. Got it. Alright, let's see if I can destroy this turret. Oh, I gotta jump down a little bit. I'm gonna try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Maybe one or two more times, but I've been saying that for... This, it's an hour and 12 minute stream so far, so I've been saying that for a while. One more time, one more time, and then I think I gotta give it up. And then I try it again, and... Aw, oh, crap. And do some decent do decently with it. Oh. Gotcha. Got you. Got you. I don't even think I need to destroy that one. Oh. Got him. Got through it. Alright, let's try this again. Aww. Alright, I think I'm going to try one more time. One more. Gotcha. Oh, I got hit. And I got an email. And I got distracted. And I'm done making excuses for my failure. Gotcha. Alright, out of the way. Gotcha. I got this. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. Alright, they're shooting. Got him. Hey, you were right. I did get it. Oh, armor. Not a moment too soon. Oh, crud. Well, that makes life a lot easier. 
Oh. <laughs> Ready. Yes, I am. Hey, and I still got the good gun. Whew. I love the good gun. That looks tough. Oh. Gotcha. Hey, I like the Metroid enemies. Oh, crud. Oh, I did not see that. Oh! The Hell Cannon Corridor, it sure is. Yeah. Alright, do I try it again? I leave it up to you all. I think I finally got my footing on this one. All right, three, two, one. Hey, I started here. Wow, that was a pleasant surprise. That was not. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Aww. That's cool, Anthium. My NES... Oh, I did not want to do that. My NES, I got it a month after my grandfather died. My first console was an Intellivision. How ironic, then, that, that the Amico's coming out this year, huh? Aw. So, it'll be interesting playing the Amico with my parents now that they're older. Because I do plan to bring it over to their house. I don't know if they'll want to play it or not, or not, to be quite honest. I mean, my dad, he, he complains every time my son wants to play the Wii. He goes, I don't want to do that. But now he should, because it's good exercise for him. Oh, wow, there we go. Cooking. Oh, that thing's going to start shooting at me. Holy manoli. Aw. Getting there. I'm one hit away from death. And there's death. All right. Oh, I didn't even see that. Whew. One more, another, what do you think? Welcome Janice Perez. I like the tribute. It's uh, my hands are a little bit too big for it, though. Ah! <laughs> I think my kids are still up there playing on the switches, taking out my switch. Oh, there we go. Hello, welcome to the channel.
Oh, wow, that thing almost got me. Alright. Oh, Didn't even see that. So... Oh, <laughs> I am super excited about the wireless version. I've got to have wireless on every controller. I'm looking forward to the Dreamcast one. My Dreamcast isn't even out right now, but I'm looking forward to the Dreamcast controller. I know it's probably blasphemy, but I have not played the Dreamcast in a little while. <laughs> uh, you know what? The Amico's a controller that my my mother-in-law can use, who's currently living with me, and my parents can use, and if I go to their house and we're all playing together, oh, died. They can use the um, they can use their phones. They all have phones. They all have iPhones. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm looking forward on the Miko. Oh, oh, cool. You can dunk, duck under those. I am looking forward to Burger Time. I love a rendition of what I played when I was young in an accessible way. But, you know what? To be perfectly honest, to be perfectly... Oh, dang. What have you been playing, retro game players, on the Dreamcast? Just about every game I have on it, I have on something else now, too. So, I haven't used it too much, but I wouldn't mind using it on the PC with the USB. If nothing else, just to back up my VMU controllers. Or adapters. Actually, that's a valid question. I think that's a good question. If the Dreamcast controller connects through USB, which I believe arcades, uh, arcade games, that, w that question was asked, will the VMUs be dumpable at that point? Because even though the batteries die on those things just by looking at them funny, the uh, the storage stays in them seemingly forever. Oh, crud. I mean, here we are 20 years later and mine still has power. Or it still has my saves on it. Oh, dang. But I did figure out what to do there. All right, one more, one more, one more. I keep saying that, but this time I really mean it. And then after that, I'm writing down the password. What's Arcade Racing, Arcade Racing Legends? That's on the DC? Oh, crap. Okay, so I never cared about shoot 'em ups before. Then I got one of these. Now I really like them. I have a ton of those. I have a ton of shoot 'em ups on the Switch too. Oh dang! So Ikaruga was the only shoot 'em up that was really memorable to me on the Dreamcast. And uh, I have that on the Switch, and I cannot play it on the little screen. It is way too small. But on the Dreamcast, on the TV, it's perfectly fine. Oh crap, I was watching the... I was looking to see if there was any chats. Josh Prod and Pixel Heart. That's uh, homebrew. Oh dang! I know they're there. I know a lot of people are making new Dreamcast games, so it would be interesting to see some of the new ones.
When the dream, oh crap! When the Dreamcast came out, I was a game tester. I tested one Dreamcast game. It was NBA Tonight. It was awful, but I got to test it. That was not Konami's best work. I'll have to check them out. Do they make anything besides Dreamcast? Because then I'd have to hook up my Dreamcast. Which I will when Retrobit releases their Dreamcast controllers, but for right now... Oh, dang. You do? For Dreamcast or for something else? Alright, now I'm into slowdown territory. Oh, dang. <laughs> Got him. Whew. What the heck do you do here? Not that. For the Genesis? Oh man, that's awesome. Alright, I gotta keep this going just so I can find out more stuff that's coming out. I, I saw that Mega Man uh, Wily Wars is coming out on the Genesis. Never been released in the US before. You, except for on the satellite. Now I have that on the... Um, on the Genesis Mini, so I don't know if that one's my cup of tea. But something that's really unique that's hard to find now, I'm all for that. Especially if it's updated like this one. For the US release. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Okay, Retrobit, what can you tell us that's new? <laughs> if anything, I know that you can't sometimes. Oh, dang it. I just showed my bald head. All right. That's what Married with Children will do to you. I'm sure everybody's seen Al Bundy. <laughs> I've noticed the vast majority of them have been Irem games, so what else do they have left? Oh, dang. But if Wily Wars is coming at some point on the Genesis, then that means... <laughs> the easy code. Um, but if it, Capcom's allowing for Wily Wars, although I don't think they actually developed that. I thought they outsourced that game. Um, then that would be another public, uh, developer. Uh, yeah, okay, so there's nothing new that I'm missing here. All right. Gotcha. Alright, I made it up here. Whew. Oh, dang it. Gotcha. Oh, that was not the best move there. Well, you did a fantastic job on this one. Hey, look, it just made it easier for me by giving me a real gun.
This game is hard, but it's a lot of- Oh, crud! No. I jumped on the wrong platform! Oh, dang. Unless I accidentally picked up this weapon and I just don't remember it. Alright, got armor, got bonus. We're going down, we're going up. We're gonna go down. Up and duck. Go up, make it just in time. A little fancy slowdown. You know what else I have at Retrobit I bought last year? It was during the Christmas sales. More info soon. I can't wait. I bought the uh, Data East Classics for um, the NES with the bigger cartridge. Bump and Jump quickly became a favorite of mine. Gotcha. There's one down. Oh. No! Whew. Warning, warning, warning! Aw, <sighs> oh, dang. Alright, game over. Game over. Alright, question. Do I keep going or do I stop? Alright, last one. I think. Our favorite boss? Why? I beat him when I did a boss rush type thing, but I, I haven't done it since. Thank you. I got the Brawlers one too. I actually reviewed them both. Whew. Got him. Alright. Oh, dang. Got him, got him, got him. How do you get this thing? Whew. This is a really weird enemy. Oh, dang. I didn't understand why Buggy Popper was called Buggy Popper. It's Bump and Jump. It's the same game, though. <laughs> I didn't realize till after I bought the multi-cart that I already had every game on there. Now, the Brawler Pack, that one... I prefer the NES games over the Brawler Pack. Oh, crap. I didn't see that. Finish it! I'm trying! <laughs> All right. We'll try one more time. One more time. I, I know I've said that like 15 times, but this will really be the last time. Alright, there we go. Got that, got that. Let's see if we can do this. So I don't know if Amazon will do it again this year, but last year I bought... The Brawler Pack, and I bought the, um, whatever the Burger Time Pack is. And with Buggy Popper? Oh, crap. I bought both of them. They were under ten bucks. Dang.
Finish the whole game for you. I'm gonna try. I get distracted so easily. Maybe I will have to play the whole game. Record. Okay, hold on. What's I say? If you have an upgraded weapon, you can stand on the last pick. Oh, does he? Does he like it? I only have one of the Data East ones. It's the, um, yeah, it's the one with the uh, bubble, uh, bump, ah, uh, jeez. Bump and jump, burger time. I don't care for the pool game, and I don't care for the punch out, or for the fighting game, the boxing game. But I really like Buggy Popper and, um, and, uh, the, uh, burger time. I took them apart in my video, too. I wanted to see what they looked like. Oh, jeez, oh, whiz, oh, And I don't remember if it looks the same as this cart when I took this one apart on my video. When I first got it. Alright, I know I said one more time. It'll be two more times. So Buggy Popper is the Japanese version, and it even has uh, different characters. And then I did a side by side. If I'm almost, I'm almost positive I did a side by side with the American version of Bump and Jump because I happen to have the cart sitting sitting by. So ooh, ooh, ah oh, no! I need the upgraded weapon. Where's the upgraded weapon in this level? Uh, go. Oh. I will say this. I like the Metal Storm type of cartridge over the multi-cart type of cartridge. I think this one looks and feels far more quality than the early ones. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I, I do like that. But this one, this one is really solid. If you've never held the cartridge, it has far more weight to it than a regular NES game. It just feels really solid, and I like it a lot. Alright, got him. Ah. I just looked on Castlemania. I didn't see it. Oh, no! I had it, and I still screwed up. You know what? I'm going to go look. Limited Run sells it, too, don't, don't they? Metal Storm Retro Bit. Uh, let's see. Limited run sold out, and I can't find it anymore on Castlemania. That's unfortunate. These will be collectibles, too. Yeah, red, uh, limited run games is absolutely sold out. I'm just looking, it looks like the European, oh, here we go. So, now we're at the standard edition. I should probably show this. Yeah, and it does come with a full manual. I, I, I went through the whole thing. I didn't buy the really expensive one, I just bought the regular game. But, it, it's pretty sweet. Um, I don't have anything prepared to show my uh, other screen right now, but I'm looking, and unfortunately, it does look like it's sold out on uh, on uh, Castlemania right now. So if I go directly to Retrobit, oh, that's console. Let me go to let me go to video games.
If you're interested in buying Super Mario and Duck Hunt from Castlemania and Hogan's Alley, you're good to go. But that's all I see in stock right now. Sign into chat. I don't know why I signed out of chat. Whoops. Here's the link on RetroBit site. There you go. All right, let me go back to the game. Try to do this. I think I'm on my last life. Ah, and there it goes. Game over. All right, do I try it again or do I hang it up? You know what? This has actually been my longest stream ever. I've never done a stream longer than an hour and like 15 minutes. And I think OBS just completely lost sound over here. That's not cool. You all hear sound? How rude. Okay, so this won't work on Metal Storm because it's not compatible with this. They're two different companies and they, they don't want to play nice with each other. I'm going to update this and see if I can maybe force it to work. But I've been using one of these with one of these. This is an 8-bit do NES. You know, bring it close to the camera. NES. It's a real NES controller. It's one of the DIYs. I'll come on with you. Are you talking to me or retro game players? <laughs> so. Absolutely. Happy to do it. I had a lot of fun. I hope you all had fun. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And Retrobit, thank you for signing on. So. That being said, I think I'm going to close. But once again, thank you for joining me. Hit that like button. I know you're supposed to say that on every video. That's what I've seen on every other YouTube video. So thank you. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And see ya. Thank you, RetroBit, once again.